Alright, first thing you do is pull out the stubs and take off the case. The cover, I mean. And now I gotta spin with the four bolts. The fours. And we got the four, four, four bolts, two clampers. Just you want to make sure the shims are on the same side. And align the, the ring gear to the pinion, right? Oh uh, yeah. The gear pattern. Should pry it out. <laughs> try to hold it. Keep everything in the orientation it came out <laughs> in. I guess so. There's a bunch of metal and stuff. I'm fucking... hmm? It's like metal and stuff. Are we all right on the the dirty table? Oh yeah, we'll clean it before we put it back in. All right. Be fun. As long as you don't get it on the clutches. <clears throat> What should we be looking at in here? Does that look okay? Uh, the only thing to check here is the preload. Which, it's not perfect, but it's not that bad. Yeah, it's 270,000 miles on this shit. In the worst case scenario, if something does go bad, just do new bearings and a solid spacer in there. If it does yeah. go out, <laughs> that's what I'd do at least. Hell yeah. That's the weak point on these discs is the crush screw. Clear bolts off. Is that eight of them? Those are Loctited. You're gonna want an impact. So the two dots on the markings to line it up for reassembly. This is intense. So, are those clutches? Yeah, these are the clutches. See the factory ones are shims, see how they're different thicknesses. Yeah. At least two apart even. Anyways, they're different thicknesses. They use the clutches to shim. But with the weir kit, they give you different shims to shim it. The thing they gave you, the gold things? Yeah. So these are the OEM ones. Mm. And then those are the springs we yeah. replace? Yeah, you don't need these anymore. It's like junk. The new ones are gonna be stiffer. Oh, More yeah. They push. look fucking taller almost. <laughs> Just make sure to take everything out in order. I don't want to mix anything up. He sits on film. <laughs> <laughs> it's mainly these you don't want to mix up. Because you want to measure this stack oh, thickness. That's rough. Holy shit. This one's fucked. That's getting replaced? Yeah. Okay. Mine was not as bad when I did it. Yeah, someone was fucking one wheeling. Right, one wheel would do that shit? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because one wheel means they're slipping. Mm-hmm. Whew. Thank God I did not put it yeah, in. So that's pretty much it. She's all apart. That was, that like, was uh, three, measuring. three minutes. All right. <laughs> that's where the old stack. They went in. Shins. Get them out. They fucking really packaged that shit well. <laughs> uh, Just throw it in a box, man. 
<laughs> Bend them. I'm trying to piss us off. They don't want to answer the calls. <laughs> yup, I'm gonna package this shit. that mic. Point two five two. Yeah, that was his stack thickness. So ours is probably going to be different. Probably a little smaller. This is worn. Yeah, I'm going to try and go off the thick <clears throat> part on this. So the old one. Then you grab the new clutches, measure that thickness, and then add what's ever needed off the shims. To make it to spec? Yeah, whatever the old spec was. I'm gonna measure them once, one at a time, because they're different. Yeah, they're all different. Not all of them are different, but it's probably gonna be like four or five different sizes. So this one is 5,000, it looks like. Yeah. Oops. Writing shit down. This guy got 252. Two. I'm gonna measure this a few more times. Make sure it's clean. Alright. Let me add up the difference with the supplied shims to get it back to where it was. <clears throat> Subtract, get your measurement. Technically, measure all these. If there's no dirt in the middle, it should get right at 0.250. Oh, you just put the shim in there? Yeah, I'm just measuring all of it. Yep. Got a 0.250. Oh. My guy can read that shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. That's per that's uh, yeah, feels official. Uh, yeah, that's just what he did. Marked them all. Like he wrote on them. He's a goon. <laughs> you get to add point oh two one. Shins go first. All right. So now we gotta start putting it back together. But we gotta clean everything really good first. This is the hard washer with the pins you gotta line up. Looks a little good. Got the top stack on. Oh, forgot to clean this. Gotta clean this before. Throw that in. Alright, clean it. Back together. I still gotta take it all the way apart again. <laughs> really? Yeah. So we gotta we over shim it now. Put it together, measure how much it's over shimmed, then take out the desired amount of shims, put the springs in and put it all back together. Okay, joke. Well we use those. Yeah, so I grabbed two of these and two of these. So let's just double check the thickness before we slap him in. And that's why the guy wrote on him. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 25 plus 12 is. Point. Oh, three, seven. I'm going to say we're a little less than 18 thousandths. Point zero one eight. Yeah, I'll try 17. 
It's still a little tight on this side. It's slightly loose on this side. Push down. After you get all the clearances measured, the the lid test, you gotta subtract point zero zero eight eight thousandths of an inch. And get your dip station ready. <laughs> Lube up everything, put it back together. What you know about that torque crank? That's accurate right there. If you don't have a press, good luck. Say that took it. An hour tops. Alright, don't forget the shim. Just slide right inside. Don't mess around, lock tight your bolts, put them to spec. Stubs in, nice housings stiff. in, yeah. You know, spin them around. Hell yeah. <laughs> Man, let's get the cover on. What's up, guys? So it is hours later after the two way build, and I was so excited I just threw it in the car without filming and just went out and sent it. It's crazy. After like a couple little skids the diff started breaking in you know getting more and more aggressive and it actually feels very similar to like a welded diff but it's obviously not that aggressive but it definitely does the job so if you guys are looking to rebuild your old lsd from a celica celica supra or even your mark three supra um get the weir kit and just rebuild it, you know, it's pretty much makes it a two-way and I highly recommend it. That being said, I do owe you guys a, a ride-along video and drift video for sure.